Hi everyone! Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Tori no Oyster Sauce Itame. It's chicken and vegetables, stir fried with oyster sauce. Quick and easy and very satisfying dish. At the end of the video, I will show you how I build a menu with this Tori no Oyster Sauce Itame. So stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. These are what you need to make four servings. Two chicken breast. Two tablespoons each of sake and potato starch or cornstarch. 200 grams of bean sprout. One or two bell peppers, depending on the size. For the sauce, one tablespoon each of sesame oil, garlic paste and soy sauce. Two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Two teaspoons of potato starch or cornstarch and some salt and pepper. Let's prepare the chicken first. Remove the skin. And trim off all the fat. the thickness into half then into strips Two tablespoons each of sake and potato starch. About a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Rub it well. And let it sit for 5 minutes. In the meantime, let's cut the bell peppers. Cut into half. Remove the seeds and the pith. Then, let's cut them into thin diagonal strips. Okay, let's make the seasoning mixture. So here, I have 50 ml of water. Let's add all the seasonings. Soy sauce. Sesame oil. Garlic paste. Oyster sauce. Potato starch. And some salt and pepper to taste. Let's give it a mix. Mm. 
Make sure there is no lumpy starch left. And the seasoning mixture is ready. Very easy. Heat up about 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil in the frying pan of a medium to medium high heat. And let's cook the chicken first. Try to separate the chicken. And just cook them until it's nicely browned. Once the chicken is browned and well cooked, let's add the vegetables. Just keep cooking until it's wilted. And you don't want to overcook it because you want to enjoy the nice texture of the vegetables. Looks good. So let's add the seasoning mixture. Turn the heat off. Give it a mix one last time because the starch is sinking at the bottom. Okay, let's turn the heat back on and cook for a minute of a medium heat. Kill the heat and it's done. Let's serve on the plate. Finish it up with some black pepper if you like. And Torino oyster sauce itame is ready to go. Time for the tasting. Itadakimasu. The chicken coated with the rich oyster sauce is so moist and tender. And the vegetables add nice texture to the dish and it's absolutely delicious. This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one or two side dishes. 
鶏のオイスターソース炒め goes here。plain rice here and spinach miso soup or any soup you like here。the main contains a lot of vegetables。so let's pass one of the side dishes。And some sort of pickles, either store bought or homemade for the other one. I hope you enjoy the meal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up, so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye.